Hello all, it's Monday again. Um, had a lovely weekend, went off to Jaguar Breakfast Club um, over at Gaydon Motor Museum, British Motor Museum. Um, had tickets to go in, so we went in for a wander around. Um, and yeah, loads of nice Jags on display. But anyway, we're back in the workshop. So, what I need to do is get on with that. So what I've done so far, I've lifted the um, chassis onto the large axle stands and lowered the axle onto small axle stands um, to test the droop. Now that is full droop of the shocks. So there I can measure where I'm gonna have my suspension limiting straps. Cause obviously if a shock breaks and we twist, we're gonna pull an airbag. Um, so we need some limiting straps on there just to be on the safe side. So I've measured those, so we've got places for those. Next job is to strip the suspension down that Mikey's made, take that off, take the shock mount off both ends because we need to um, grind them down, zinc prime them, paint them, etc. And I'm also going to pull the airbags out, take off the diff guard and clean the axle up and give that a coat of silver. The back one's already silver because um, at least then you can see leaks and stuff. So I'm going to clean it all up wire brush it all and get some silver hammer right on there. Um, and then we can get, let's say, these brackets painted or powder coated or whatever we're doing with them and get them back on. Um, so that's the job for today. Uh, what else? The thumb screws turned up. I don't know if I like them. <sighs> I don't know. We need to also get this dash out because that's got to be painted. Um, need to grind these down, obviously have the backs, the, the, have them welded at the back. I'm also going to put a horn button in here um, because when I have my aftermarket steering wheel, it won't have a horn button. So I'm going to get a horn button in here. Um, and I think I might even get a winch button in there as well. Um, so that's that. I'm going to insert a little video here. That was Mikey playing with the steering column. Um, as you can see, he's just turning the end of the um, column in the lathe just to get it um, true. And then you obviously saw the pictures of the nylon bush being made. So hopefully that'll be along soon. So I'm gonna get this axle done. Once this axle's all done, I will probably start putting the front end back on, the winch bumper, the grill, etc. And then we'll see where we are from there. I have earthed the tanks, sorry, the compressors properly in the in the back. Um, so that's done. So now I need to also start making the wooden box. We've got a sheet of wood behind there that I can make the box out of. Um, it's only got to be an L shape just to um, slide over the top. So I've got to do that. So it's all things we want to do this week. So let's stop waffling. Let's get cracking. Well, we've got the uh, shock mounts off. So they've had their first coat of zinc primer on that side anyway. Got to leave them now and then um, give them another couple of coats and then turn them over, give them another couple of coats and then we need to get paint on them. But it's going to be a bit of a drawn out process. So it's time for a cup of tea and then I need to wire brush the axle down ready for paint. First coat of Hammerite Silver Smooth on the axle. Um, probably need another coat at least and I've obviously only done the bits I can get to so once the wheels are on it's off axle stands I can then go over the back end of the um, axle but obviously where we'd welded the new spring hangers on it all needed painting so for the sake of a wire, uh, wire brush and then a quick slap of hammer right on it's worth doing at least now I can see if any leaks as well and while the um, diff guards off I'll probably clean that up and maybe give that a lick of paint as well see how it comes up there we go the diff guard is getting a coat of etch primer um, 
we'll let it dry and we'll do another coat and then flip it over and do the reverse. They're now on the other side having their first coat. So we're getting there. Right, next morning, this might be the last video you ever see of me. I have contracted man flu and I'm dying. But I can't sit indoors because it makes me feel worse. So let's crack on. I've got to put another coat on the diff guard um, and then I'm going to do another coat on the axle and then we'll come back and paint all these bits um, in the final color. The second coat of silver is on the axle, so that's done. And I've put a coat of orange on the calipers. Needs another coat or two yet. Um, also, we are getting on with the coats on here. They're taking a while to dry, but obviously it's quite chilly. So unsurprisingly, I've used the heat gun, but it's not really done a great deal in all fairness. So what we need to do is probably leave it overnight now and then turn them over and paint the other sides tomorrow. Um, but we'll see what happens in the next hour or so. While I'm waiting for paint to dry, it dawned on me. I've got an old set of Dixie air horns. There's all the horns. The pump died years ago, but I kept the horns. And I thought, well, as we've got air on the Defender, we could probably use one of the air suspension paddle valves that we've got, get another one and use it for a horn. So I've rigged up the airline uh, and a horn. So I'm just waiting for the um, compressor to fill up and then we'll test the different horns and see what tone we like. Right, I can't shout on camera because it is fucking loud. But we've got one horn that's really, really, really noisy. So that should do as a horn. That at least get people's attention. So we can fit that and we'll have to get another um, pressure valve switch, a paddle valve for it, I reckon. That's probably the way forward. Right, Mikey has just dropped the column back. So you can see there, it's got the nylon bushes and we've got nylon bushes up in that end as well. So, excellent job, all lubed up, ready to go. So that can go back in the truck in the imminent future. I've got probably the last coat of paint on the bits now. So once they're dried, they can be refitted. And I've now also got the green Defender back in. Um, I don't know if I said it in a previous video, but obviously we're waiting to have the um, footwells done. Um, but I wanted, the customer wanted to pay for it as it went along. So... I sent in the invoice for the work to do the footwells for supplying and fitting them because obviously I got a price for fitting them from um, my resident welder. Um, but it took a while for him to pay that invoice. So I took it off the lift and put it in back in storage just temporarily until that money came through because I didn't want to pay out the welder and the parts to not get paid for a while. So I thought I'll just wait. Um, he paid me last week. So tomorrow it looks like we're having the footwells done. So that's in here ready to go for the morning. So yeah, so I just need to now wait for that paint to dry so I can refit the axle back up. Obviously I can get my steering column in. I can also start getting the dashboard out and prepare that for paint as well. So that's probably what we'll, have, we'll end up doing today. I'm gonna have a cup of tea and then probably start to look, look to start getting the dashboard out again, I reckon. We have the dash out. So the next job is to grind it all back. Um, also, these need to be welded on probably at the back a bit more maybe. I don't know, they're quite well on there. They might not need to, I suppose. Um, but we'll grind these welds back, clean all this up, and get ready for it to uh, go off to paint, I suppose. So yes, let's get grinding. Okay, so I ground it all back. Um, and now I'm just putting some primer over the top. So I used the grinder, cleaned it all back, got some brake cleaner, wiped it all down, and now I'm just um, primering the inside. Uh, I'm gonna give it a couple of coats on the inside and then matte black it. Uh, and then I'll speak to the painter before I do anything on the outside in case he wants that as a bare metal finish. But I presume he'll want me to prime it, so I probably will end up doing it. But I'll speak to him in the morning. Um, so that's one coat for now. Uh, I'm going off to the car auction shortly 
So I'll give it 25 minutes, I'll whack another coat on there and then I'll head off and then come back in the morning. And we're all back together on the front end and this is as high as it goes with the shocks fully extended. Um, got 80 PSI in the bags. Well, it was about 80 when it stopped going up. So we'll just have to see once the winch bumper goes on and on the road, what that feels like. It's all going to be a learning curve and play by ear, I think. And we are down. So, yeah, we've got quite a lot of travel. Um, it all looks well under there. So we're now going to get that steering column fitted in. And I think that's pretty much good to go. Um, as far as the green ones coming along, we've got one foot well. Well, say we, the Royal We. Mikey has one foot well out. He isn't going to do the whole thing because it's quite solid up there. So he's cleaned up, ready to put the other one in. So that's good. And I have also been painting the inside of the dashboard. I've done another couple of coats of primer and three coats of satin black, because that doesn't need to be body colored. It's just the outside that does. So once that's dried, I'll primer the front and then it can go off for paint. And that is the front of the dashboard um, primed, ready to go off for paint now. So that's uh, imminent progress on the footwells. The driver's one is in, almost, just being finished off. The wing mounting bracket is just being tapped back on, or welded back on, shall I say. Um, so yeah, definitely getting there. Right, well, Mikey's finished. The footwells are in. I've put some... Um, zinc primer on it just to protect it over the weekend um so yeah so that's now sort of time to go back together but one little ending hang on right i've been offered a saab a 93 sport diesel um at the minute no mot um and no reverse and the gear linkage is really stiff um or the cable should i say Apparently, a quick Google has said the pivot bush, the nylon bush on the pivot point, wears and fails and you can't get gears. I've managed to get reverse once. It went straight in once, but the other times it won't. I've driven it up and down the road. It's loosened up. First to sixth is fine, but just can't get reverse at the minute. Uh, it's a 2008. Um, and yeah, hold fire to next week. This might be a new project. Have a good weekend, guys. Take care.